Hi, right, we have another distance problem here. A ferry leaves a harbor and travels to a resort island at an average speed of 20 miles an hour. So, let's see how my drawing skills are here. Well, I'm just going to... Here's my picture of a harbor. It's just an H. <laughs> and here's my picture of an island. I'll actually draw that. And that's... Okay, so we'll do... There's your harbor. There's your island. The ferry goes from the harbor to the island at a speed of, or at a rate of, 20 miles an hour. Okay. Now he comes back from the island to the harbor at a slower rate of 12 miles an hour. Okay, it's foggy. The total round trip time is five hours, and we're assuming that all of the travel time is spent traveling. In other words, he he gets to the island, just throws people off the boat, and keeps going. So, and then he returns at 12 miles an hour. So the question is, what's the distance between the harbor and the island? Well, if you think about it again, it's a, it's the classic distance is equal to rate times time equation, and we have two parts to the problem. We have, we have a coming or a going and a coming back, right? Now, if you think about it, the distance going, or distance one, let's call this rate one, is equal to the distance coming back. I'll call that distance two. So rate one is 20, rate two is 12, and we know that distance one is equal to rate one times time 1. So really the equation becomes R1 times T1 equals R2 times T2. And we know that th the rates are 20 and 12 respectively. So we got a lot of information already. The only thing left to figure out is what about these times? Well, we know that the total trip is 5 hours, right? So coming, or sorry, <laughs> I keep saying going and then coming back, the total is 5. So, just for the heck of it, what if it took 2 hours to get there? Well, it must have taken 3 hours to get back, right? Or, what if it took 1 hour to get there? Well, it must have taken 4 hours to get back, right? Because the total travel time is 5 hours. So we can use that information to say, what if it took X hours to get there? Well, it must have taken whatever 5 minus x hours to come back, right? Because x plus 5 minus x equals 5. That's all you need. Plug in x equals t1, 5 minus x for t2, set them equal to each other, and solve the equation. So 20x is equal to 60 minus 12x and add 12x to both sides. You get 32x is equal to 60. Again, the trusty calculator. So now we're going to do... Uh, we're going to divide 60 by 32 and you get 1.875. So divide both sides here. 32. X is equal to 1.875 hours. And you could convert that to, uh, to minutes and seconds, but really that's not the question that's being asked. The question is, what's the distance? Not what the time is, but what's the distance? Well, you should be able to plug in this 1.875 into either one of these locations and since the distances are equal, you should get the same answer on both sides of the equal sign. So let's try it. Let's plug in the 1.875 to the 20. So 20 times 1.875 should give us an answer. Let's get the calculator out. 1.875 times 20. That's 37.5. Okay, so 37.5. Oops. And you should get the same thing if you plug in 12 times 5 minus 1.875. So let's try that. 
5 minus 1.875 oops try that again 75 that's equal to 3.125 and multiply that by 12 and look not only do we get the answer but we've sort of checked our work along the way so the answer is the distance is 37.5 miles